Okay, this is how you're going to label your pictures from your photo gallery with voiceover. I am running 14.6 software version with an iPhone 12 Pro phone. So here we go. We're gonna go open up our phone app. Let me slow this down just a little bit. Words. Nant mobile money reader. Loading. Okay. In my messages. So we'll go find photos now. I'm on the home screen. Or I'll flick over till we find photos, or you can open it with Siri, whichever you desire. Facebook, YouTube, Messenger, Calendar, Photos. There we go. I'll open this bad boy. Photos. Date range. Okay, Days. first adjustable. The first thing I'm gonna do is touch the bottom left corner with my finger. Tab bar. Selected. Library. Okay. Tab. One of four. Because the mo now that I've touched that, if I swipe backwards right to left. It's going to go from the bottom of the screen back up toward the top, one item at a time. So I'm going to find me my very first photo here. Date range, days, adjustable. I'm swipe again. Plus 11, button. Swipe again. More, button. One more time. Select, button. And one more time. Vertical scroll bar. One more 280 time. 280 pages, live photo, here it June is. 14th. Live photo, June 14th, which would have been yesterday. So I took a picture of my show steers yesterday. When I got done washing them, I tied them up to the corral panel and took a picture of them but I did not label them but I do know that I did it yesterday and I do know approximately what time however if I flick again backwards I'm just going to hear another picture live photo June 14th now on yours if you have an earlier version of iOS it may tell you the timestamp and some other extra information now on 14.6 what they have done is I'm going to flick back to my right to my most recent photo here. I'm going to the right one time. Live photo, June 14th. Gives me the date and tells me what type of photo it is. It's a live photo. So now if I flick down. 8.31 p.m. 8.31. That's the time. That's when that picture was taken. I flick down again. Portrait, orientation. It tells me what um, orientation it was taken in. It was a portrait picture. Flick down again. June 14th, date. There's the date. Flick down again. 8.31 p.m. And we're back time. around to the time. Now, if I want to give this picture a meaningful name, I'm going to do a two-finger double tap and hold down right here. I felt a vibration, and I let up. Sometimes it'll speak to you. that it, it, It's going to be, it's called label element. Labeling an element. So now I can flick my finger to the right. Text field. Is I'll editing. flick it back to Live the photo. left. Label element. It says label element. Flick to the left again. Label element. Same. It's just repeating it. So we know we can't go anymore to the left. So I'll flick to the right. Text field is editing. Live photo. Okay. Mode. It says insertion point at end. So it tells me there's some text in there and it says it's editing and my insertion point is at the end. This is very important. So if it's at the end, we don't want that name in there. So we're going to find a delete key in the bottom right corner. <clears throat> unless you have a Bluetooth keyboard hooked up. Then you can just, your automator insertion point is already at the end of the text, so you can just hit your backspace key and delete all this out on the physical keyboard. I don't have one hooked up at the moment, so I'm going to use my deletion key on my um, phone here. Delete. I found it. I'll double tap, and I'm going to hold down. Oh. Get tap right out. Okay, I got rid of all of that mess. Now I'm going to give it a meaningful name. I'm going to do a two-finger double tap for dictation. And then I'll speak what I need, and then I'll do a two-finger double tap to finish it up. 2021 show steer. Inserted 2021 show steer. Okay, now I'll touch the upper half of the screen one time. Cancel button. Okay, I'll flick to the left. Clear text. Button. Flick to the left. Text field is editing. 2021 show steer. Word mode. Hmm. Insertion point at end. I like it. I'll flick to the left. Label element. Okay, flick to the left. Label element. Obviously nothing there. So the done button is over, or the save is over on the other side of the cancel. So I gotta flick right until I find it. Text field clear. Te cancel. Save button. And I'll go one more time. Q. Oh, I'm back into my text, my keyboard. So I'll flick backwards. Save button. There we go. Here's a save button. I double tap with one finger. Live photo, June 14th. Okay. 
My flick to the left. Video. June 14th. Okay, I'm gonna flick to the right. Live photo. I got June a, 14th. I have a couple of, uh, I have, I've got about six photos here. Live photo. June 14th. And remember, it was the last one here. Live photo. June 14th. I'm flicking to the right. Live photo. June 14th. Flicking to the right. Live photo. June 14th. I think it's the next one. Here it is. Live photo. June 14th. Well, maybe one more. Live photo. June 14th. Maybe again. Live photo. June 14th. Live photo. 2000. Vertical scroll. 2021 show steer. June 14th. Okay, so it's a little further down. Apparently, I had more than I thought. Okay, so obviously. Vertical scroll bar, 280 pages. So there's the how many how many pages of pictures I have, and I flick backwards. Live photo, June 14th. Flick backwards again. Live photo. Okay. June 14th. As you're flicking backwards, I think this is a bug with voiceover because it's not speaking that. Now, if I flick from left to right. 2021 shows here. There it is. June 14th. So I think there's a bug there with flicking backwards from the bottom of the screen up versus coming from the top down. So sometimes it's going to speak it, and sometimes it's not. Vertical scroll, 2021 show, live photo, 2021 show steer, yep. June 14. This time it did it, you know, coming back down. So got to be careful on that. That is exactly how you're going to label your pictures. Hope it helps.